and welcome. My name is Paula and today I'm joined by my sidekick, Janet. Here she is. Hi, Janet. Hi, Hi Jan. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be looking at something really exciting and fun, which is what we always say cake decorating should be. And that is we're going to make what we call rock or lava sugar or what I call volcanic sugar, which is this here. This has been made a little bit earlier on. And it's also what we've used to decorate our cake just over here on the left hand side. Before we can get on to all that exciting theatre today, we're actually going to make up some royal icing just over here, but we're going to do it the really easy way. No complications here, is there, Janet? We're no. just doing it really, really simple. Very simple. Yeah, anybody could do this, and it's just handy to have a box of this in your cupboard just in case you need it. Uh, this is what we're using and we've already got our water pre-measured. Now because we're planning on making a lot of lava sugar today, Jan's actually put two boxes in here because we've got a lot that we're going to be getting through and making. Now she's adding in a total of, what is that, 10 in the end? 10 tablespoons of water and when we switch it on in a little bit when I finish chatting if we need to add in a little bit more that's what we're going to do it's so much easier to add it in afterwards if you put too much in then you've got to start all over again it just makes life really difficult and we're all for making life easy oh, all for definite so here we go um, I think we can switch on then should we do that let's just drop that down in there now this is probably going to take about all oh, what six seven eight nine minutes something like that a lot will depend on your mixer how fast you're beating it etc i think we're going to go for about number three maybe a number four see how we number feel three. play by yeah number three so that's what we're going to do so we're going to walk off leave that to do its own thing and then we're going to come back and we're going to look at creating the theater so here we go switching on now Ta okay Yay! See you in a minute. Hi and welcome back. So we've now got the royal icing ready and we're just going to lift this up so she can have a look. We've mixed it so it's fairly soft. So generally I'll mix my icing fairly firm but for this so it works really well you need it quite soft and Jan's just kind of showing you there how soft that is. There we go. And I think you're just going to pop a tablespoon into yeah. a bowl as well. And that's all you need to be able to make this really exciting rock sugar. And it is exciting. I'm excited. Janet's excited. I know Alex doing the recording is excited. And we hope you are as well. If you're somebody who's a bit of a science geek as well, you'll find this really, really fun. I can imagine people up and down the country that haven't had a go with something like this are going to be having a go. It's really brilliant. So Jan's got the icing, she's just taking that away, she's putting a damp cloth over it. That's just so that it doesn't dry out or anything like that. And I'm just going to show you the royal icing that we've got ready. She's just popped it, if I just reach over and grab it in. She's very organised, Janet, and she's very tidy, and that's what she's doing for me today. Sometimes a little bit too organised, I think, <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> So this is the amount that we're going to be using today. Like I say, it's quite soft, so Jan's just put a tablespoon in there. Damp cloth just so that that's covered over so that it doesn't dry out or anything. So onto the next stage, we've actually got some sugar in here. Now we've got 450 grams, which is basically a pound in here. And into that, I'm just going to pour seven fluid ounces of water, which is 200 ml. So I'm just going to pour that straight into there. No mixing or anything like that at all. So just straight in, and then I'm going to put that straight on the hob. Now we've brought everything forward, basically so that you can see and get a really good view while we're waiting as we go on, as opposed to using the one that's just behind us. Now into this, we're just going to place our thermometer. You can pop it in, take it away, whatever works for you with your pan, etc. to be honest. Now, we need to leave this now until it heats up. Now, I'm very much a centigrade person, so I work to 150 degrees centigrade. Jan, on the other hand, is very much Fahrenheit, so she works to a different temperature. 280. Sounds like darts, doesn't it, or something like that. So basically, it doesn't matter which one you're working to, as long as you're aiming for the hard crack stage. Now, it's a good idea to know your pan as well. This pan very much retains the heat, so we generally tend to take it off just a little bit before it's ready and then we'll pop it on here and it's still got the heat in there and it's still going up a little bit. That will just stop the sugar from burning, which we find works really every time, don't we, to be honest. So basically at this point in time, the other thing you can be getting ready is the funnel. 
Now this is what we're going to pour the rock sugar into while it's doing its volcanic amazing feature thing that it does and we're just going to shape it so all I've got is just a, an ordinary piece of foil it's quite a thick one like a turkey foil so folded it in half and then just tweak it round a bit until you get like this cone shape and then open it out as you can see I'm not very good at this bit Janet's better at this bit than me and then I'm just going to bend the edges over Janet Stang is making a right hash of that, aren't you? You are, aren't you? Yes, she is! <laughs> no, but I was thinking, I can bring some Did you want to do that? So basically, you can see, so I'm going to hand it over to Janet. She's going to perfect the cone shape that we've got there. Thank you kindly, <laughs> Janet. <laughs> so while Janet's doing that, and while our rock sugar is beginning to heat up, or our sugar and water ready to create our rock sugar, Basically, you'll need to find yourself something to do for maybe 10 minutes, depending on the cooker, maybe even 20. So, we're just going to see what we can get up to for 10 to 20 minutes and then come back. Hi and welcome back. Well now, finally, we're nearly where we need to be. So if I just turn that round, we're about 140. So we're actually going to switch off our gas at the front. We're going to get rid of our thermometer. I'm just going to pop that down to the side. I've got my foil ready in here and I'm just going to move this onto a stand so it's out of the way. Get rid of the jug so you can all see what's going to happen as well. Maybe if we slide that out of the way, do you reckon, Jan? Shall we slide that? And we've got our sugar ready, our icing as well. So if I just carefully oh, put my thing back on, don't want to burn myself. There we go. Slide that back over. Slide this in so you can see exactly what's going to happen. Now it's still bubbling because, like I said, this pan retains the heat. So Jan's actually going to scoop it in so that as I'm talking, I'll start whisking and you'll see everything begin to happen. So there we go. She's just dropped the icing in there. Give it a whisk. You can start to see that now start to erupt in the pan and now into our foil it goes. Give it a little whisk as we go and you should be able to see that. If I tip it a little bit that's erupting now, it's coming up to the very top and this is our lava or volcanic sugar. Comes right the way up, look at that. That is brilliant, isn't it? Isn't that exciting? Oh wow! We said this was gonna be exciting and how exciting is this? So just make sure, unlike mine, that your cone is high enough to capture your lava sugar. But that looks fantastic and all the bits that are dropping off, you can use them as well. That's exciting, yeah, isn't it? Just like a volcano. I know, this, this is the science in cake decorating. So, we're gonna leave that to cool. Probably a couple of hours will actually be fine for that. And we've got one from earlier, um, and Jan's just gonna start to unravel that. This is nice and cold, this one. And we didn't put anything in the foil to begin with. We just pulled it straight into the foil, didn't we? So I'm just gonna get my bag ready, Janet. There we go. Now you're probably wondering why I've got a bag ready. Now the other thing we didn't tell you is that you've had a really stressful day at home or at the office. This is also a really good way of venting your feelings. So we're going to pop the lava sugar in there. You can cut it up into shapes if you want to. There we go. And we're just going to slide that. That's not hot so we're okay. I'm just going to pop it in there. I'm going to get my rolling pin and I'm just going to give it a bit of a smash to break it up. So there you go, you get your pieces and it just ends up how you want it to. That felt good, Janet. Yeah, I Did you want to have a go? Yeah, <laughs> go on, Janet, give it your best. Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Okay, so just, you might be wondering how we've coloured up our cake on the left-hand side. And all we've done is we've just popped a little bit of the lava sugar into a box and I'm just gonna shake and give it a little spray and then we're well away. Lovely, thanks Jen. Give it a good shake. And the spray, oh, helps if you aim actually on the rock sugar. <laughs> the other thing you can do when you are smashing it is that you can actually just sprinkle it onto your cupcakes as well, 
which is also ideal. And we've got some cupcakes just behind us that we've also been sprinkling with. That's lovely, isn't it? Just yeah. nice over some meringues or cream, all that type of thing on your puddings too. So there's the science in cake decorating. I think that was exciting. I do too. So there we go. So we've had great fun today, literally great fun. So thanks for joining us. Enjoy making your rock or lava sugar. Thank you. Bye-bye.